Sean, driving in, I heard an unusual stat that's kind of backwards. It said that when, <coughs> when you guys win, Jared gets hit or sacked one out of 11 pass plays, whereas when you lose, he only gets hit one out of every 31 pass plays. So it's usually reversed. It, does the stat matter, and how do you reverse it, and is it just a product of you guys keeping the pedal to the metal? That is somebody searching for a stat right there. That, that, yeah, uh, you know, I think it's all relative. To, to say that I think that's going to be the big difference, I would probably say no. But you always want to keep the quarterback clean. And a lot of that's predicated on how much you're throwing it. I mean, you look at the Denver game earlier this year. Um, you know, we were able to run the football efficiently and kind of find ways to sustain drives through that process. And, you know, we didn't have to throw it too many times. But I bet you he got hit more in that game than he did others and were attempting less passes. So... Um, you know, I, I think it's all predicated on the, the individual play. You hear us talk about it all the time. Each play is its own individual entity, but the goal is always to keep the quarterback clean, uh, you know, from an offensive line or tight end running back, you know, however we're protecting up front. And then there's also an element where receivers have a contribution of separating in the timing and rhythm of the play, and the quarterback's got to play within the timing and rhythm of the play as well.